Hey everyone, welcome back. What's up? I hope you're having a great day. It's a great day here in Oklahoma, even though our weather has not been good lately. Gosh, I'm ready for some good weather, some spring, get out and walk, do something outside. It's just raining and windy beyond belief, but enough complaining about that. Um, so today, I'm going to do another fun color palette, and i got to be honest, I'm a little obsessed with this color palette. I did a short video with this color, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that so much. And, and so then I did a couple of, um, well actually, I guess I just did one. Um, I tried to do an open cup, just not on video, just myself, and I used those colors. And even though it didn't turn out, it didn't turn out like with a bunch of cells like I wanted it to, when I tilted it and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And so I love it so much that <laughs> I'm going to um, decorate my bathroom. I'm going to redo my bathroom and do it in these colors. I already have some curtains that are this blue. And so I'm going to put those. I only have one window in my master bath. And I'm going to take those out of my bedroom and put them in there. And I'm going to put those two paintings that I already have done on one wall. And hopefully, this one I'm going to do today, I'm going to put in the other. Buy some towels, put a little floral in, and voila, new bathroom. So I wanted to bring you along on the journey. I'm going to do the base coat in this powder blue. I just mixed some light blue and white, and that's going to be the base coat. And it's really simple. It's only three more. It's only, you know, like a metallic and two more colors, but I don't know. just resonated with me. Maybe I just needed something new in my house, so... Anyway, here it goes. So I'm gonna put the canvas with this, and I think that I'm gonna have a few little paint skins that I'm gonna have to dig out of here because I had some white left over, and uh, you know how that is. I had a lid on it, but still, it when I stirred it, I think I created some. So I'm gonna have to grab those real quick. Well, what did I do with my, oh, I tell you what, you try to get everything, <laughs> oh my goodness, you try to get everything that you think you're going to need close, and then inevitably you don't have something. So, yeah, I definitely got a couple of paint skins in there. Let's see, I love them. I knew when I started stirring, I was like, uh-oh, but we'll get them out. I'll tilt this and I'll be able to see it. My last video that I did, um, that I put on, was my, was my fail one. Well, it wasn't a fail. It was gorgeous colors, but um, I didn't know how to correct it and some of you are so gracious to give me some pointers for next time. And I appreciate those comments tremendously. I, I feel like I'm better. I have more knowledge now to, because you know it's going to happen again. I mean, it happens to the most experienced ones. Wow, with the... <laughs> okay, I got all those out. Mix up a little more of this. I didn't have quite enough. But, anyway, as I was saying, I really appreciate the comments. I do. I'm, I'm not offended or I asked for the advice and you guys graciously gave it so I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so here's a lesson. If you've got paint that's been stored and it's got kind of skin on the sides, pour out the paint before you stir in something else. Another lesson learned, boy, just you know racking up the whole knowledge thing here. Okay. 
can't see that side really, but I'll I'll get it. I'll get it later. I wipe my hands off real quick. Gonna torch this thing. I also got my new torch in, so we this will be the first test. Look how look how pretty and clean she is. No paint marks. That's fixing the change. Yes. So nice to have one working good. Getting them bubbles like a beast. Okay. All right, I still see. Still see a little lump. I think it's a lump. Got a bubble, but just making sure. I want to have a nice perfection base. colors. You know, I really need to get a towel rack and have somebody mount it in the stud for me here because how many of y'all know, you grab and you have paint and you grab and then the paper towel sticks every time you try to tear it off. It's so annoying. <laughs> if I had it on a roll, I probably could avoid that. Okay, I'm going to do puddles for this because I... <clears throat> did one a while back that I loved how it turned out and so I feel like I feel like that would be really pretty so I'm gonna do three puddle situations here this is that um, you know leftover that I've had with the red violet and the deep magenta mixed on a diagonal. Okay. Ooh. Now I'm going to do some Payne's Gray. I'm thinking, I'm thinking whether I want to go around the circle or the puddle or in the middle of it. I think I'm going to go around. Now I mixed uh, mixed copper and rose gold together for the metallic. Put it in the middle there. Okay, okay let's see. Is that all I want to do? Um, I think so. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to put a little extra around for the blowout. I'm excited. I have a perfect spot in my bathroom for this. Perfect. I think I'm going to try to decide now whether I think I am going to blow over a little bit um, to start out. So, let's see if we can get a good shot.
Ooh. Ooh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting that when they turn out so good, I can almost cry. Like, oh, it's so pretty. It never ceases to amaze me how pretty it can be when you get some good cells and good colors and good flow. Feeling all the love of Fluid Art right now. Like, this is just so pretty. I do have a little spot in the middle that I feel like, um, let me look at it real quick. Oh, I don't know. It looks pretty good. I thought maybe that part right there might be a little bit thick. I do think it needs, I probably need to do some tweaking with that, but oh, I really love it. I really, really love it. I hope you guys do too. I'm going to get you a close setup and brag a little bit. Hang with me. Here she is in all of her glory. Oh my gosh. I am over the moon. Absolutely over the moon with this one. And knowing that it's going in my house for me to show off, I'm just blessed. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you all.